In this After Effects video, we're gonna give an overview on creating detailed text animations. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Films. So creating text animation is something that's very easy to do, but in this video, I specifically wanna dive into the text animation menus and show you guys how to create detailed animations using the controlled parameters for creating awesome text animations. And before we dive into creating the three types of text animations in this tutorial, I wanna say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. Also, with purchasing a soundtrack for your next project, each song allows you to choose from the full track, loop sets, and even shorter variations of the song to make sure every song fits the duration of your project. So for your next project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com. All right, let's dive into the tutorial and let's get started. So here we are in After Effects and we already have our title in here and this is where we're gonna do our detailed custom animation. It's on our title layer and you're gonna open it up and the first thing you're gonna see is this tab called text and a tab called animate. And what we can do here is click on the arrow next to animate and we have a variety of tabs here that we can add and animate our text around. What I wanna do here is check on enable per character 3D. Then I'm gonna to go to animate again, and I'm gonna add, say, rotation. With rotation selected, we have three values here, X, Y, and Z, and we can rotate this in 3D space. So for here, for example, I can set the Y rotation to 90 degrees, and all the letters are facing us, and obviously, we don't really wanna just keyframe this because this looks terrible. So what we're gonna do is keep it at 90 degrees, and we're gonna open up the range selector one, and we'll add a keyframe for start, and we'll move forward here to say two seconds or however long you want animation to be and we'll set it to 100%. So now each letter is gonna animate individually. Now, of course, this is terrible. We don't wanna have our title up like this. So what we can do to easily fix this, so there's this other tab here called add and there's an arrow next to it. We can, can click on it, go to property and add say opacity. And then set the opacity down to 0%. Now. So now we're able to add our own custom animation to the individual characters of this title. So this is one way that you can create your own custom animation. And if we want, we can go to say the advanced tab and we have these other properties in here as well. We'll get into some of these in a second. But for example, we have randomized order right here and we can set this to on and it will animate randomly instead of from left to right. And that's a cool thing that you can do. And of course, it may always be best to make all your keyframes easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard and selecting them. So here's another example here, and we can add a variety of different parameters. So for example, let's say let's add tracking. Okay, we can increase the tracking and we can have it from over here. We can add, say, another property in here, and we do like a blur. And we can kind of have this blurred out as it comes in. And let's go ahead and do that range selector once again. So add a keyframe for start, and you can move forward in time and set it to 100%. And another example of custom animation. And also we can add, say, a character offset, and we can offset the characters by a little bit. So now I kind of have like this decode value to it, and that looks really cool. So this was a cool way to show that you can stack all these different kinds of parameters and really customize your own titles. Now, of course, this animation is all by individual characters, but let's say if you want it word per word. Open up the advanced tab, where it says based on, set it from characters to words, and it'll collectively animate each word one at a time. So we're gonna move on to our last type of animation and it's gonna be an overshoot animation. So let's come here and let's add a scale and set the scale up to about like 120% or so. Come into the range selector, add a keyframe for it and do what you normally would do, set it up to 100%. So now this is essentially what we have just like this. Now what we'll do is go to the animate tab and we'll add another scale and also create animator two. Here we'll set the scale down to 0% and then we'll go into that range selector, we'll add a keyframe for the start and we'll move forward here and we'll set up to 100%. And what we'll do is we'll grab our first set of range selector keyframes and we can offset these in time. So now we created an overshoot animation where it scales up over the top and then continues to scale down. And of course you can use other parameters for this technique as well. It'll over animate and this is how you create an overshoot animation. Now of course there's so many ways to animate titles and when you work with a lot of titles it takes a lot of time to create all these titles. So I invite you guys to check out a plugin for After Effects called Type Builder. There are over 550 pre-made titles in this pack that you can just preview by hovering over it and there are over 20 categories from abstract typefaces to corporate to fashion to glitch typefaces 
and even so much more than that where you can just click and add anything with a click of button let me show you how easy it is so when i find an animation that i like i click on create and within a second it added our glitch title and you can easily control the in and out durations by dragging in the markers if you're looking to save countless time on each of your after effects project files when it comes to titles go ahead and check our links in the video description and it'll take you right to type builder where you can view all 550 plus titles so that wraps up our overview on creating detailed text animation. Be sure to check out these parameters on your own time as well because there are a ton of possibilities. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every week right here on the channel. Also, you can hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.